Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Munn, and this is a new run of Stellaris. Let me run you through it. We are going to be playing the Cobalt Race, which are these cute red guys in this purpular location. That might be a little bit difficult to read on screen. I'm very much considered... I wanted the dragon background, and we'll probably have different races. Uh, we are Cobalts, Cobalts, Cobalts. Oh, I just realized that we will need to do the name list. Uh, the the KK. We are the KK, but we are not the KKK. All right, our traits are that we are conformists. We are unruly conformists. We are weak because we are kobolds. We are rapid breeders because we are kobolds. We are nomadic because we are kobolds. It all makes sense. Um, we are gonna be on an arid world, I believe. Uh, uh, I don't think they're more. Yeah, I think it's either arid. Now we've already done Alpine enough. Let's stick over here. Arid it is. City appearance is uh, uh, reptilian. And we're doing Here Be Dragons. Since time immemorial, this civilization has shared its star system with a formidable dragon. The mysterious creature's behavior sways between distant benevolence and ha ha haughty indifference. How this relationship will evolve uh, uh, as the planet dwellers take to the stars remains to be seen. Effects. You start with a space dragon roaming your home system. The dragon may protect you from harm, but beware its wrath should you displease it. Uh, I wonder if we get to name it. I will name it Zom, if we get to name it. You cannot have fanatical purifiers, devouring swarm, or determined ex exterminators, but what we do have is barbaric despoilers, because we're kobolds. But we're pleasure seekers also, because we're kobolds. It's a whole thing that's happening. Uh, we're going to fanatical authoritarian and militarist I'm trying to figure out if we should do spiritualists. Um, I'm not used to doing slaves, but we're going to have slaves and I'm going to have to figure it out. We have the militarist uh, advisor voice. Our empire flag is a blue eye white with a dragon in the middle. Um, yep, ship appearance is going to be imperial, I think. Well, yeah, sure. We haven't done those in a while. Ruler title, um, let's go with Tallest. It'll put a little Zim in here. It'll be fine. I'm really not sure about that background, though, because we really blend in. I was thinking that one, but we also kind of blend it. It's our, it's our color, we just blend in. You know, we'll, we'll go back and we'll do the one that looks like it's a dragon scale situation. Okay. Save. The Cobal Cabal. Done. Alright. Now, for the sake of you guys on YouTube, I'm going to try and shrink the... Shrink? Shrink the... Wait, why did it go between large and huge? Wait, is medium as... Oh, I'm stuck on Starburst. I want to do a Cartwell Galaxy because it matches our emblem. Can we do... Okay, we're doing medium. We're doing medium. Uh, previous setup, AI Empires. Uh, Advanced Start 2. Fallen Empires, Marauders 2. Tech Tradition Cost 1. We're going to keep a lot of this the same. I think we had the right number of FTL civilizations in the last run. Maybe a few too many, but we're going to go with it. We are going to lower the end game event to third 2730 to 27 to 23 75. Words are hard. Um, on Ensign, the AI has no inherent economic, scientific, or military advantages over the player. On Captain, the AI gets slight bonuses to its economy, research, and naval capacity. I hate giving the AI benefits. I want them to be smarter, not stronger. Um, hmm. Let's turn up their aggressiveness. Well, high? I'm sorry, there's not like a middle ground between high and normal? Oh, man. You know what? Fine. We'll try Captain one time. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Algates are on. Xenocompatibility is on. Uh, 
Growth scaling. Uh, those are all default. I don't know what that means. All right, we're in it for the story. Let's go. Let's rock. We will be playing our characters. We will be raiding and stealing people from nearby races. Here be dragons. We've always known the dragon. It has graced the skies above Nogard since time immemorial. Our early interactions with it scattered throughout kobold folklore. For a long time, it was a story of conflict, as our early weaponry proved no match for the mighty beast. But then the stories tell of a visionary who, against all odds, managed to broker peace between kobold and dragon. In the subsequent encounters, the dragon has proved a distant enigmatic figure whose examples has ever spurred our efforts to reach for the stars. However, the inv invention of rapid propulsion systems and the discovery of hyperlane networks have brought about new, uneasy period of relations with the dragon as we increasingly intrude upon areas it has roamed in solitude for eons. It is for us to decide what our future holds. Will we study the dragon and perhaps even learn to communicate with it, or will we be driven to conflict the confines of a single star system simply too small to share with such formidable creature? Begin. Oh, wow. Blue name skull icon. Huzrog of the Endless Flames. Husguard. I'm sorry. Husguard of the Endless Flames. Endless Flames. Neat. Um, alright. We have begun. We are... Wait. Did... Did I... Did I change the right... I don't think I changed the right galaxy. Hold on. We don't have to recreate the race or set up anything else again. One second. Uh, select... Spoked. That's what I meant. Spoked galaxy. Whoops. Alright. Nothing should other, other be changed except for maybe the name of our dragon. It's good to catch that immediately and not regret it later. Roar's Guard of the Endless Flames. Once again. Okay. We are now... In the south... The far end of the south spoke. That is kind of frightening to think about. Um... Science ship. Go science. Maybe we can cut people off? Uh... Construction ship. What do we need? We need minerals. There's no science to claim in here. So grab... Yoink. So grab this. And we will begin. Let's go with better shields immediately. Army damage immediately. Uh, more minerals immediately. Let's double check our planet. We might have slaves immediately. Okay, I think we're just enslaving other races. I don't think we're enslaving ourselves. Uh, entertainers are... Hold on. I'm trying to remember... I gotta remember the traits because I'm doing things a little bit differently. Population growth from entertainers. Servants produce five additional amenities. Do we have any servants? Doesn't look like we have any servants. Okay, do we need... We don't need any employment stuff on the home world. Alright, we're immediately going into high speed. The Medizek is the new heir to the Empire and will take the throne when our current ruler dies. Alright, guys. Here we are. We don't know how close the nearest empire is, but we have begun. Complete. Preparing to build a mining station. Mm -hmm. 
Another fresh game of Stellaris. Let's rock. Oh, do I have any situation logs that I can do anything with the dragon yet? Nope. Our economy is losing consumer goods, however. Can we buy minerals? Not really. How are we immediately losing consumer goods? That's a great question, Hunter Mun. You should investigate. Who's making consumer goods? Okay, you're turning consumer goods into science. You're turning consumer goods into... Okay, so we're losing from the entertainers, I think. Okay. Construction complete. Okay, construction is complete. We don't have a lot of minerals at the beginning here, so we're going to have to build a new building soon. Now, Discovery is pretty good right up the front. Commendable Situation initiative for the Habitable World Survey. I almost always pick Discovery first, and I don't immediately know a reason not to do it this time. We are about to lose on consumer goods, however. All right, we're going to build a consumer goods factory, and we're going to prioritize people working on consumer goods. We could alternatively start with a... Oh, wait. Hold on. Also, because we're pleasure seekers, pops have increased happiness and consumer goods upkeep. Right. So, hold on. Um... Policies. I learned this in my... I mean, I relearned this. We're in a militarized economy. So we get more allies from jobs and less consumer goods. If we go mixed economy... I mean, militarized economy sounds right for the start, but we will definitely consider doing a mixed economy if we can't get this under control. That That's the way I'll do it. If we can't get it under control, we know that we can fix our consumer goods by switching that. System survey complete. All right, system survey complete. Building a new station here should just be, yep, influence and alloys. Alright. Welcome to the party, everyone. We have only just begun again. I love this game. It's a really good game. A leader has gained a level. Anomaly found. Survey speed increase. Uh, anomaly found, huh? Uh, leave it be for now. We want to explore first, and then we want to enrich ourselves later. Speaking of exploring first, we are very much considering... Hold on. Civilian industries to do up the, the consumer goods. People will move their jobs from something else to something else. But also, complete. Toxic terraforming candidate discovered. Detailed survey of the Minshear 2 has revealed that although currently unavailable, unsuitable for life due to the noxious gaseous presence of the atmosphere, it's capable of sustaining breathable atmosphere. Through concerted effort, we may be able to break the planet's toxins down to less lethal compounds. Mm -hmm. So we have a detoxipossible de planet. Build a research station because we have the energy to do so. 
Ter a terraforming candidate has been discovered of Minchur 4. Uh, the existence of a valley and network suggests that water may have once flowed freely. Okay. So we gotta remember Minchur. Minchur over here has uh, good possibilities. Let's take some alloys and build a second science ship. It is now time, I think. System survey complete. We want to know if these do or don't connect out to some place, and if they do, we want to grab complete. them. We want the whole backside of this territory ours. Ruin quantum catapult? Really? Really? Huh. Massive field of debris above the pulsar of Ab Abavas system. Our scientists theorize that the partially intact structure in the dense uh, portion of the field somehow harnessed the power of the star to launch objects incredible distances. If we develop knowledge to work on great megastructures, we could repair the quantum catapult. That seems like something really dangerous for us to have. But I'm okay with it. cannot currently build that mining station because you do not quite have enough mining. Contact report remnants. The Cobalt Cabal is abuzz with news of alien remnants that were recently studied. These remains consider definitive proof of intelligent purposeful alien activity at some point in the past. We may still be alone. We may be alone now, but we are at least not the first to be so. Remarkable. Oh, free science ship. How close am I to my next upgrade, and what would it be? Okay, we got nine months away, but now we're going to be further away because we're going to spend some... Uh, Unity... On getting a new scientist of some kind. Anomaly chance discovery sounds good. Go this way. First contact protocols. We shall greet the Xeno with open arms. It is wise to be cautious. We must be ward off those who would threaten us. Uh We can attack neutral aliens, inhabited hostile ups. Uh Ah, uh, cobalts are cautious. Alright, we're gonna go with cautious. Hey, that doesn't connect anywhere. Cool, then we're gonna go look in this direction. And then we're gonna explore over here. And then explore over here. We're gonna see where that goes. How much to found a second colony? Anomaly found. Uh, there's a significant amount of debris in the orbit of the gas giant. Most of it appears to be coming from the lost starships of various configurations. Leave it be for now. We're trying to find the edge of our borders. All right, we're lacking on consumer goods, but we are positive on consumer goods. We definitely want... To not be bordered on the sides. Recovered artifacts from an alien civilization on Abobus 2. We have learned these artifacts is correct. The civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different races. They call themselves the First League and appear to have coexisted in relative peace for some two million years ago. The Abobus system lies in the region of space that seems to have made up the core of their territory. A partial map found among artificial our artifacts indicates that the First League may have covered a significant portion of the galaxy before its eventual collapse. Situation log updated. Uh, that is challenging, impressive structure, begging for some archaeological work. Leave it be for now. I think this means that my guaranteed habitable other world must be over here. In F-class star uninhabited. Alright, guys. We have only just begun.
We have a System ally of dragon. Complete. Signs of an activity by an ancient precursor for civilization on this inhabitable rock. Uh, leave it be for now. We're doing lots of leave it be for now. Complete. We've made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Blue Eyes system. For now, we have codenamed them Epsilon Aliens. Until we can find out more about them, they possess language we should decipher it so we can access assess how they treat assess how much the, of a threat they pose I could not read that for some reason first contact making first contact Vitra X I don't know who we met in our home system but mildly concerning enigmatic space furs. news of alien ships humming through the ether has reached the Nogrod, Nogard, reach Nogard. Many ways ending the first chapter of the book of the Cobal. Cobal, it's bid for Stellar Empire. Intriguing. So wait, did we meet the Caravanners? We must have met the Caravanners. Our blue eyes are not blue. I mean, that one's almost blue. Ah, why are we paused? Stopping pause. All right, we're doing good work. Uh, System survey complete. I think we're going to need minerals next. But we got two jobs available, so we can put that off for a little bit. Construction complete. Nope, there's our other arid world. Okay, cool. Mirrors? Mirrors civilization encountered. We have detected the presence of a pre space alien civilization on Lyges 4 in the Lyges system. There's evidence that they have harnessed the power of the atom. And nuclear weapons may be pro prolific among their many divided nation states. The possibility of a sudden self inflicted extinction event is high. We should consider building an observation post on their world to study them more closely. Man, already we could have some pre FTLs get in the way. System survey complete. Research alternatives sounds pretty good right now. And a natural wormhole immediately? Jeez. We've detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the Benzar system. Yep. If it could somehow be stabilized, we should be able to colonize this arid world now. Uh, Molly is here. Molly will be the first colony. You want to be a colony? Speak up in chat. This is a new run, new names, new nits. Living metal? We discovered previously unknown strategic resource living metal. We're not going to be able to exploit that forever. Yikes. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere and that doesn't go anywhere. So we actually want to survey here. Actually, we want to survey here, and we want to survey up ahead. We can get a, we can get a good early far checkpoint, choke point. Uh, structured signals. We have picked up the readings of unknown nature. The signals follow some kind of repeating syntax. We're making first contact. Now we have to see if there's stuff to be worried about over here. Construction complete. Grab this. Okay, that's System two mining stations. System survey complete. Okay, don't grab that yet. Grab this. Okay, that star doesn't connect up to anywhere.
Okay, we might have a single choke point and decent systems back here. What kind of planet is that? Tropical World 13. Kind of small. But maybe if we can get a migration treaty going on. Wait, I don't think we can do migration treaties. Construction complete. Uh... Cannot do migration treaties. Yeah, we're gonna have to steal some races. Molly Colony is about to be founding. Whoa, three planets. All Arctic worlds. The conquest of a new world has begun. First Kobo Colony. Our colony ship is gently uh, touched down on the top of a large flat mesa near the equator of Mali. This location will serve well as the first landing site. The rivers that flow in the canyons below provide easy access to water. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of a new settlement, and the reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first cobalt city on an alien world. It is a great day for the cobalt cabal. System survey complete. Okay, we need more mins. Get me these mins. And then come up here and... Scientific breakthrough achieved. Speaking of having more mins... Mining station output would be pretty good. Anomaly found. Very hard, leave it be for now. Um... Yeah, we're kind of close on resources. Let's go mining. How are we doing on the planet, by the way? We have one job opening. Opening. Okay, we can probably afford to grab some minerals from the atmosphere. Because otherwise, I'm not really sure where they're coming from. Get those jobs involved. Okay, this is looking... Very dangerously promising. Unless that doesn't go anywhere, which it could, it could not go anywhere. In which case, we can go back here to our Construction leisure. Construction complete. No, that definitely goes places. Okay. We want to... What is the shortest number of jumps? One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. We want to come back here and survey this system. We have the influence. I think we build a second construction ship. Making first contact. We have established connection with the Empire Curator Order. Empire wishes to well met. Where are you guys? Here, over here. Can you aid us in research? I mean, it's it's kind of a hefty investment this start of the game, but 10% research this early? Let's go. Research station increase. Yeah, let's do that. Well, we have only just begun. We are here in the beginning of the game. I'll probably be bring you back immediately. I tend to upload the first two episodes of a series at the same time to the YouTube. So YouTube... Whoops, what the hell? So YouTube, I would like to thank you for watching. Um, I will bring you back pretty shortly because something is bound to happen. Like we're going to make more first contact pretty soon. This has been Stellaris. I have been Hunter Munn. And I will see you in that next recording in the future.